What's up, YouTube? Eugene here, and I'm back at Maximum Fragrance. Uh, quite a few of you had responded how you enjoy that kind of content. So I like coming here. I like making this kind of contact content. I like talking to Sam and Larry about perfumes, and I'm sure they do as well. So as long as they're okay with it, we'll keep making these kind of videos. This is a lot of fun for all of us. And I've brought some things for them to smell, some things they haven't smelt before. And we'll get their take on it. My scent of the day is in here. I got some interesting things, so stay tuned. And we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're back in business. I'm here with Samir, Larry. And I read one of the comments last week saying they're, you guys are going to become YouTube stars, which I thought was awesome. No, where are my sunglasses? It's not sunny. But Larry had just picked up. Santal Royale. And first impressions? I love it. Yeah? Just absolutely love it. First time smelling it? Yeah. Well, I had a, a small decant of it. This is beautiful. Do you find it synthetic at all? No. Because I really, when I when I first got it and got to know it, I kind of struggled with um, some of the aroma chemicals. Maybe I was just putting on way See too you much. but. Your spray smell your nose. How does it compare to some of your other favorite rose oods? I, even though it's got Santal in the name and the sandalwood base, I find it more rose oud. Yeah. See, I mean, one of my favorite rose oods is, is the one that we have here, Amiate, by um, Atelier. Okay. I'm not familiar. And That's also, the one I smelled yesterday, Armand's right? Cribe. Rose, Rose de Arby, yeah. Um, I love those two. But this is, I think this is very one of the most complex nice. fragrances yeah, I've nice. ever. And you can't go wrong with German. Yeah, I agree. So I'm glad that I picked this up. I agree. Thanks, to Samir. And you you pulled this out, and you you were going to say something. Okay, this this I I only took this out this morning because I was buying this. Um, this is called with. Santel Wood by Montel. It, it's very weak, in okay. my opinion, compared to, and maybe it's not even close to this, I don't know. I think there, there's barely any Santal in yeah. it. Which is very surprising to hear that it's weak, because yeah, Montal are, are known for their obnoxiously... I, I have worn it for a while, and um, no, this is a, a discipline. Can you put some on a little blotter? Oh, this, the Montal? Thank you. Wasn't there another one in your bags of hmm. babies? <laughs> it's very sharp. Yeah. Sharp, but then it, to me, it just goes. Like, and it's on very one-dimensional. Like yeah. it, I don't feel any yeah. shift or transitioning or depth. depth to it like that one. Not really. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, I brought some really cool things. And the bag of goodies. I know. I was about to bring See? my bag of goodies. Well, you should have. Uh, Your bag of goodies is here. It's like here. I'm bringing perfume to a, a perfume shop. Yeah. I was yeah. going to like, bring uh, Nikolai. Sure? That intense yeah. uh, patchouli, that's amazing. So here's my scent of the day. Are you guys familiar oh, with this? Uh, I am, yeah. Yeah? yeah. You guys like that? I love it. Yeah. I've used it, I think. Long yeah? Long. Yeah, I've used, no, I've used this, that. This long. Is a rosy, leathery Shepra. A, a true Shepra. Patchouli and oak moss. I think I have that in my cabinet. Civet, my castorium. Dome. You do have one. Yeah, yeah, I have that in the dome. This is amazing stuff. But the funny thing is, I used this when I was in like in my teens. Yeah. My taste, I think, is upside down because in my high school days, I used that. I used Polo Green. I've used Boss Number One. Those are like heavy hitters for a teenager. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So a story. When I first got to know this. The only place that carried it was the Hudson's Bay. Mm. And I was really new to, you know, this style yeah. of perfume. And I thought it was absolutely revolting. Yeah. Okay. And every time I would go into the bay, mm. I was drawn to this thing. Like, magnetically, I would run to the Chanel counter just to spray some on and yeah, and just, I don't know. Like, I mean, obviously, you know, your, your taste changes. Absolutely. 
And yeah, but mine has gone upside down though. Back mm. then, I was wearing Dolce Gabbana the one and Chanel Allure Home Sport O Extreme, so very mm. simple, easy to wear things. Which I wouldn't even consider wearing those today, right? Because they yeah. don't excite me. And my original pie. I mean, that's what I pie. Remember. Right, yeah. right. If those I used in high school, and when I graduated, moved on a little bit further, I started using lighter ones, so O Fresh or yeah. the Platinum or Chanel Blue, Chanel Allures, and then the Blues. And slowly it changed. Maybe it's the yeah, media blue dish, yeah. because blue dish and almond came out with every blue dish yeah. And See, so very, just very easy to wear things. Yeah. But I would just run in there and spray on Teus and go like, "How horrible! <laughs> like, how could anybody wear this?" Yeah. And look at you now. Yeah, and now it's like one of my absolute <laughs> favorite things. So I was here yesterday and I spoke to Larry about some things he wanted to try, and I'm really meticulous about my bottles and. I don't like to have them okay. clank up and scratch, but there's Queron Tones. You said you wanted to try this one. I want to try that next one. Okay, you guys can give that a go. You go first. Probably like it better uh, than I do. Good idea. You just mentioned how you like the packaging of those, and those are inspired by um, Guerlain B bottles. Just with a Middle Eastern twist the first time I saw this bottle was at uh, Holt Rancher. At square one. This is amazing. I mean, I can smell the leather, obviously. I Tobacco. smell med medicine more than leather. Yeah, medicinal right. qualities. This is uh, animalic to me, a little bit. No, it's not. It's yeah, I get... Tobacco. Yeah, tobacco. yeah, absolutely. That's kind of Terry Wasser's signature tobacco. Oh, no, no, it has turned I amazing. Mean, oh, wow. It's okay. cool. It has turned. Yeah. It's turning. You can feel the depth, right? Do you like this? Yes. Good. No, no, it's See? amazing. Before What's, you would try these. Yeah, medicinal, it's not my taste, but this is nice. You know what that smells like nice to me or smell. reminds me of? Is like a, a leather tannery. Yeah. yeah. Very smoky. This is just... Well, so well blended. This actually, if, I don't know if you ever smell those uh, bahurs, like uh, the bahurs? wood burning. Can you explain yeah. to us what that is? So bahur is basically wood chips. They come in different, different forms. It's usually made up. Uh, but the true bahur is usually oud woods that you burn on a burner. But there are a few that would smell like this if you if you put it in a nice home with a lot of leather furniture around it. Mm -hmm. Burn that. That's what that smells like. So it's putting, but, but the bakurs are of many kinds. So you got to find the right taste for it. Right. It's it's not like those bakurs are not wood heavy. They are like mixture of a lot of different things. So it's just like a perfume, but it's a solid perfume. Right. Instead of putting it on, you burn them. I'm right now from from that strip. I'm I'm picking it up, and it smells very smoky and incensey yeah, to me. That's what I'm that's getting what, right yeah, now. That's what you get after that. It's it's animal. If, if it's a closed room with a lot of leather furniture and all that. Like the beauty of that just hit me right yeah. now. Okay, like I'm, I'm reminded. Them. Well, you have several oh, we have bottles here. Yeah, this is awesome. on that too. It really is. Yeah. This is awesome. I've got. Here is. This is. We spoke about this. This is the new Tom Ford Beau de Jour repackaged. So this used to be a private blend. Regular. And now it was only out for about a year or so. They, I think they discontinued it and released it in yeah, this year, I think. in the signature line. You want to give that a spritz? And you're familiar with this, right? I'm. I've had. I've sampled it. I don't. I don't have it, but I've sampled. This looks it. like the juice I would love. And actually, I liked it in the very beginning, but I found it didn't last on my skin. Something for me. Yeah, it is. I can <laughs> tell by the juice color. But this to me was a blind buy just off of reading the descriptions on um, base notes. And it was a very successful blind buy. I think it's one of the best releases I've smelled in quite a while. Lavender. This reminds me of Oud Mineral. Oud Mineral. Really? Tom Ford. Okay. Really? To me, it's very aromatic. I get a lot of the um, herbal is, spices, rosemary, is, thyme. This is a happy fragrance. Basil. Is it? Yeah. Your happy is different than happy. mine. 
I think this is a happy curtain. Do you get any shaving cream qualities? Shaving no. foam? No, I've never used that kind of shaving foam. But there was one that like a barber saw or yeah. I get a lot of the shaving cream. Yeah, I mean, but it's more of a herbal nice. like a, a nice spice. Maybe the shaving cream will come out in a I bit. Take, but I take back what I said. Sorry. What happened? No, yeah. I just to me. It's not yeah. happy anymore. No, I just I said it didn't last on my skin. That's why I didn't buy it. Yeah. But I, I it's turning. It's not that nice. I didn't. This isn't the one. That's the one that I one, smell was the private client. Right, blend. right. I haven't. I've never smelled the private yeah. blend. But I'm not really concerned if they've changed it a whole lot. Yeah. I don't know. People go crazy so over reformula. It's much it cheaper. Tech? So you get double double the perfume. Yeah. So the private blend's 50. This is 100 mil. Mm -hmm. And Privates also come in 100. They're harder to... Well, they're, they're not as white. Well, but then you're looking at double the price as well. Yeah, really Just the 50 expensive. mils are 290, yeah, I believe. This is nice. 290 this is Canadian, nice. I think they yeah. are. 250. Do you have Italian Cypress? I, I've never smelled Italian oh, Cypress. I've used that. I don't have it's, it anymore. You don't have it anymore? We don't have it anymore, do we? That's the skin here, so but I've used that. That was one of the first Tom Ford we had. Because it's, it's a little bit on this. No. Maybe I've smelt it like just in passing it's at a... Uh, it's, it's like the old fashioned shaving lotion, like a shaving aftershave, but in a nice way. Turn. This is kind of... You guys like? I do. Yeah? It's a pass, yeah. I like it quite a bit. It's unique. This is very nice. This is, is always this nice. is that's, the, this that's is the star way more show. bold and it's this, no. this is the star. Even this is not for me. Yeah. Santal Royal. But you like queer and tons. That's very nice. Yeah. That's that smells like rich, like a yeah. proper classy rich. Beer. Yeah. It's very bold. Yeah, and attention nice. getting. Yeah. Oh. You're going to get noticed in, in either of those, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of compliments and attention with Santal Royale. Yeah. Like, a lot of positive feedback. I've never tried a lot of Santal Royale. Like, I sprayed this, this sample yesterday on my wrist when I, before I left here. Yeah. And you this know what? I could still, before I had my shower this morning, I could still smell it on my wrist. So, for in me, a good way. Uh, you know, through all the perfumes I've ever worn and sampled and tried... I think Santal Royale is one of the most complex things I've ever worn and it's constantly changing and evolving and developing and, and it's just it's a thing of beauty thing really. Too. Maybe it's a yeah. skin reaction of different yeah. different skins. I'll wear it one day and it'll it'll wear differently than yeah. you know the day prior or, or cold and warm or Yeah, exactly. Anything. Gorgeous. But this is amazing. They're, they're both amazing. I might have to get a matching uh, <laughs> I might actually get that. There's a patchouli one coming out later this year okay. in this collection. Yeah. Actually, I think it's a rose you, patchouli. You mentioned yesterday the Garin store on Bush is closing. Why? That's supposed been... to be a secret, but. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it'll, it'll be out, you know. Oops. Not not a big deal. It'll Why? The news will be out sooner or later. Business? Not good? I've been holding on to that for I'm about sorry. a year. <laughs> it's okay. Me I'm not. I'm not even going to edit that out. <laughs> okay, just take it out. <laughs> no, I don't. I, don't, I like to edit as just little shut as possible. My mouth. All right, are you guys ready for this? And these were. Um, this is orange bag with tea on it. So these were kind of dropped off at my house late last a couple of nights ago. What is that? Don't tell me it's office. Oh. Oh by God. a friend. I, I, the, I don't think he our, wants to be our friend outed. So oh, I, I, won't, I, I won't. I won't. No, it's is. not who you're thinking. Okay. It's somebody else. But he generously dropped this off and said, I "Do with it what Jeremy's you will." What's What's the price tag on it? Is it fifty still? I I thought um, on launch it was about a hundred and sixty euros yeah, yeah, or. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I can't wait to try. Okay. This. First, first impression. This bottle is worse than okay. No offense to anyone. Right. Okay. Too late for that. <laughs> look, look, well, yeah, but look at the bottle. But that Seriously. bottle is miles ahead of what he had launched with. with like, uh, yeah, but the first at, bottle didn't even come with a cap. Look at the sleeve on it. <laughs> There's well, no collar well, around you know the crimp. Even the writing. Look at the writing. I, I don't care how the quality of the <laughs> juice is. Right. If the price tag is two fifty Canadians. Should have a decent bottle, 
or is it hyped up price? I don't know the original price. I, have, I don't. Uh, honestly, price. Yeah, I don't know either. I think he got his wish for simplicity because it's just. Boring. Well, then put it in a plastic it bottle and spray it like a Windex, maybe. It's, it is boring. Windex. That's even better. Even isn't the it? name, the office. Room. Okay, name. I don't mind. Office. A bit banal, isn't it? Yes, yeah, for office, so it's not gonna last. Okay, you. spray it. All right, let's give it a whirl. Well, let's see if the second impression is brighter. Ooh, sprays nice though. Okay, it's it spray spray. nicer. Okay. Spray is nicer. We take some of our comments back. <laughs> no, no, no. So there's one positive. Spray it's a good sprayer. Very, but okay. the look of the spray is bad. Oh my god. Doesn't that smell like pineapples? Mm -hmm. That's pineapple, right? That's an easy pick, is it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> that to me was quite obvious as well. Okay, is this going to get burnt? <laughs> it's like bond number nine. Do you feel like smashing your head through the wall? Yeah, or? pretty much. Yeah. And I'm not even really smelling it up close. This like is... uh, the HTTP from one of the one that yeah. we first mm -hmm. talked about on the YouTube. That's what that smells close to. Very close to. Not a ventus. I think Club Nui is better than this. No. Club Nui? Intense. Intense. Your favorite. Oh, right, right, right. Your absolute favorite. I guess I'm a little bit prejudiced. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I feel I mean, like I like that smell, but it's it's not unique though. It's, it's not definitely not no, unique. Like it's it's sort of a letdown from the light that he, you know. So this can go into a Creed clone line. Yeah, yeah. it's very it's a very Aventus ish. It is. I would and, just more of a copy of a well, not a copy inspired by Bond Number Nine. I get a, like a yeah. huge blast of bergamot. Yeah, bond number nine. Like, HTTP, the yellow one. Oh, the HTTP bond, uh, the HTTP. Um, Have you smelled that? I, have, I haven't. Yeah, so that, but it, I think it's it, more it seems to, to me like a mashup of several very popular men's yeah. modern fragrances. Yeah. But I think the pineapple notes take over almost every Well, as soon note. as you spray it. Yeah. In your so face. it is, It you know, it to me it's very generic, one-dimensional. Not a whole lot of no. depth. No. How long does it last? I, I've never worn it. May like I spray I've, on my spray. Yeah, you can spray. Let's you can see. make a decant. You no. know, help yourself. Let's see if it's better than a Well I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking for a way to to handle this bottle properly, like it's in great. the same vein as Off Club de Nuit, <laughs> but it's got to be original. <laughs> Maybe some of our viewers would have uh, some good ideas. But surprisingly, to me, it's not as obnoxiously loud as I thought it was going to be. Like, like the way that sharp. Are... it's office. I don't. I don't see it as being but sharp. The, they... But the 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 pineapple just is in your face, right? In the very beginning, pineapple and woods. But yeah, the, I mean, Smear's right. The bottle is really quite tacky. I I have no issue with the bottle. It's plain. It's simple. But it's. This after you remove this, you see the quality of that, and you see the quality of that. Yeah, yeah. The just seeing here. the crimper, yeah. you know, it's it's an eyesore to me. The bottle, it's, it, it's not bad if it keeps it one same way. It's mm -hmm. not bad, but it's already scratching off. The color is already coming off. Yeah. So maybe he spent all the money on the ingredient quality. Well, maybe on the girls. I guess that's pretty. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the girls, right? All the women he has around. Oh. Him. All right, next. I have not watched any of the YouTubers. I mean, so I who do you know. think pays for his Lamborghini? I don't know. He drives that. Like, if that's the case, I would start making YouTube videos. If right. I mean, no, he doesn't Lamborghini. own it. He rents it. Oh, pff, I don't want that. <laughs> okay, so we got one more here. You guys ready for this? Oh, this is Dave. So he actually has to. I thought yeah. the people were just no. talking about it. No. So, so this is the original, right? That was and the first. The Give this a whirl. Same color. Yeah. Very lucky. <laughs> it's the same color. Yeah, same juice. That's well, kind of the niche color. way now. They keep everything know, very really custom. Good. I mean, yeah. very standard, similar bottles. Sprays are really nice. Bonus. Sprayers are really nice, yeah. It's not that too. I just can't put my nose on it. It's, again... Does it smell similar? Yeah. You pick 
Can we prefer that one over this? Office over? Over this. Which one do you prefer? The office. The Even first one. I, I don't care for really either one of them. But this is very, the one. fruitiness is hitting me. It's really but it's a different fruitiness yeah, from the pineapple. Tropical, like a, it's tropical fruits. This is a little bit more denser and and it has a little bit yeah, more depth than the first yeah. one. Like I personally would prefer this, even though I, I, I would wear this in the fall. Why would yeah. you prefer either? Um, is it the prejudice? When I first sprayed this, it's very synthetic, but now it's sort of. It's a little bit better it's now. Better than, than it was when I first. I find it. date uh, a like lot a more interesting. Sisley kind of a line, like what Sisley takes. This is like, like kind of a road, fruity. Well, yeah, maybe the first one's a little bit fruity, but like, this uh, is also fruity though. The Sisley has more citrus in it. Bergamot. No, fruity. but this is more pineapple. Like it's not even fruity. It's pineapple. Yeah. This could be more fruity. That probably has few fruits in it. Notes in it. Probably. Like I say, when I first. Afraid the date, I thought, you know, synthetic, but now it's it's, it's getting like, better. Um, peach and mango. <laughs> <laughs> and one of those... Uh, Fruit salad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is some... It's undeniably fruity. Yeah. And it's dark. Like, even the, the color, I get a much yeah. darker yeah. color than Office. That's, that's, yeah. that's not for me. So this is for date night. Okay, you smell like fruity and then they start licking you, I guess. Uh, I think oud is a listed note, but I don't get anything that's. I, no, I, I can get the oud. Yeah? yeah, yeah. I don't really pick that, out any oud. Well, something so, there's or, something uh, oud or. I'm not getting any oud. Yeah, there's something. Uh, it's it's a little bit incensey and and fruity. Fruity, I get. I, the fresh. I there's a, obviously fruity. a freshness to it. Is it listed on Pragmatical? Let's look up the notes. Let's look up actual notes on it. What is it? It's date, right? It's date. date, yeah. yeah. Date, date for uh, men. Or maybe he's trying to... First time I'm going to write Jeremy's name maybe. on my project. Oh, my Are ya? Once yeah. you do, you're going to get attacked okay, by all so, kinds of spam. So and press, press to subscribe. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I should have went to his website. Sorry, my bad. I spent some money. Maybe he's yeah. going after the dates in the desert. Citrus, aromatic, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy. Okay. So top notes on this is bergamot, lemon, mandarin, orange, blueberries, juniper berries. Juniper berries? Hmm. Patchouli nice. in the middle. Okay. I don't get any of that, to be honest. Do you know, I mean, I, I didn't know whether it was oud. It could be the patchouli. I'm I don't know. There is oud in it as a base note okay. and whatever as a base note. Yeah. Uh, I gotta be honest, I can't get any of that. It's no. just like. I didn't get any of the top notes either. Maybe the Jennifer Bears have never spelled those. Like, taking back what I said before, I think I would, I would go with this one over the office. It is a little bit more interesting. Why pay two fifty for oh, no, I this? Then? Well, you're buying into the brand, right? It, I mean, this your brand. There's no well, brand. the man behind the brand. That's this that's reminds what you're me of into. Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Banks. <laughs> it's the same thing. You get wrapped up in the hype, and people that's, just well, that's, buy it. That's people what it is. Love Jeremy. The women love Jeremy. Okay, a lot of people love Justin Bieber. It doesn't sell. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, he's selling a lot of whatever he's selling. Tickets or you know yeah, memorabilia, but, but, okay. merchandise, perfume, same records. Thing. He's not selling it. Yeah. Why? But it's also a brand. Yeah. Nicki Minaj. So look at the other one. What's what's the other one? The Ariana Grande. Can I help a second? Well, that's a good plan though. I don't want to do. I don't want to get against him. Next thing I know, he makes a video against me. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Well, everything's up for I'm discussion, right? Everybody moment. has the right to opinion, but I don't know. For all I care, you know, he can sell a billion bottles.
And another thing I've surprisingly have my eye on is this Cafe Rose. I have no idea what's come over me, but there was a time where I wasn't a big fan of this. I thought if it wasn't big, bold, skanky, and animalic, it wasn't for me, but my tastes have really changed and I appreciate the soft, pillowy subtleness of this rose patch, which it, it is soft, but it's, it's not as minimalist as I thought it used to be, but we'll see what happens. This is the older bottle design, which I really like the color of that too. I've also got my eye on some of these older Lardisans, and I haven't tried many of them, so they'd be kind of blind buys, but I am familiar with Al Oud, which is a nice, spicy, woody fragrance. But that patchouli patch, being a huge fan of patchouli, has me interested. There's a few others. I think it was this one here. Zonka. Never smelt it, but Thank you. I am curious. And this, I've read a lot of good things about Monchamp Loop. And we're back before we were so rudely interrupted by <laughs> paying customers. How and phone how, calls, phone calls, calls, and how dare they? I know. But Larry's just pulled out Ombre 114 by Historian. I don't think I've ever smelled this, mm -hmm. but can we put some on a strip? We do it, have it in the store. Is that what you uh, wore today? Uh, no, I wore the, uh, the Montel. This is your own personal? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I think it's good. Very golden ambery. A little bit boozy, incense. Wow, well, you get the booze in it. Yeah. A little I bit think of it's a really good amber. herbalness. Yeah, it's, a, you know, it's what an amber should be, yeah. what an amber should do. It's got a little bit of herbalness and texture to it. I like it. And actually the price point is not bad. I think it's a respectable brand, Historic yes. Parfums. Yeah, I haven't smelt sure. a whole lot from them, but from the things that I have have always impressed me in this kind of a way. No, this is, um... I don't think it's the most unique amber that I've ever no, smelled, no, but it's, it's it's really so do you have, um, amber well done. Sultan? I have that one as well. So would you... I think Ombre Salton is a little bit darker than this. Okay. Okay. Maybe even smokier. Okay. This to me is more golden. Yeah. Um, so a the way Shalimar light. would be. Okay. Okay. No, but beautiful know. nonetheless. Yeah. So I looked up office. I'm oh, sorry. For I, I had to. Men by fragrance. Fragrance one, whatever. It's nothing like what we described. It's completely different. The top notes are different. So There's no pineapple in it. Oh, I get pineapple. There's no pineapple in it. Well, they can list whatever they want, right? Even people, according to people. I think there was some controversy on the on the the listing of the notes that they weren't correct or whatever. I remember hearing somebody say that. Like the first time I sprayed Office, I could swear I thought I smelled Sauvage and. Right now, I don't. No. Like, I thought it was a mashup of Sauvage and Dylan Blue and yeah, like Profumo. Did you put it on your skin? The office? No. It has, it's turning a while. It's, it yeah. was barely. Yeah, out. absolutely. Like, I better put it on the skin. But, I, Pergamon did better. Maybe it's Pergamon, but not it's, pineapple. It's different on the skin. But it's not that different. It's no, it will turn, just, like, after a few minutes, yeah. it will turn. Okay, we'll just let you... 
Let's see if my wrist falls off. I'm getting some musk from this Historia oh. Parfums. I think they're an odd size, like 60 mil. 60 and 120 mil, I think. This far, right? Yeah. yeah 60 and 120 mil. 30, 60 and 120 mil. Yeah. All right, so before we go, would you yeah. say, what are your hits and misses of, of the day? I'll go first. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wow. Impressive. Wow. Because knowing your tastes, yeah. like, because this is this, completely different than what I would have expected. This would be more of my taste, but this is like common now. This is what I would thought you would have gone for. Yeah, but this it's is common though. Like there's so it's many. It's common, right? There's nothing new about it. This no, this no. It's actually I'm gonna give it a try later. So Santal Royal no, and the Montal no. Is that what you're wow. saying? Yeah. That one no. This one is in between. Too green for you. Do you wear? Do you like green perfumes? Depends. Like it really depends on the mood and the weather for me. I love personally green perfumes. The more I know, green, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. The, the star would for me would be this one first. Okay. This one. Of course, wow. you bought that. Yeah, it has to be. You gotta satisfy <laughs> your need, though. I have to. Uh... But you own this in the private blend. I don't own it. Okay. I sampled it. You, okay, you tried it. But I for, didn't buy it. For Larry, this has to be on the top, I guess. Date for men? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, you can wear that on Saturday okay, when you actually yeah, get when a I date. go for a date. <laughs> really? Take the bottle like, with you. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> I mean, I love this too. I mean, I do. I mean, I like I, I like them all. I mean, really, mm -hmm. to be quite honest. This was a disappointment. I'm sorry. but Did you just buy this? I know I've had it for a while. I okay, it I feels like it's almost done. Yeah. Well, I probably shared it. But yeah, I, I congratulate yeah, office, you on this. I, I wouldn't go to the office if I had to, if I was, if it was the last fragrance on earth <laughs> and I had to buy a fragrance, yeah. I would buy this. Date? It's not that bad though. It's pretty, not it's, that it's though. better than a lot of other perfumes that we've seen. Okay, before. you know, for myself, it's just not anything in my wheelhouse. It's not things that I would like yeah. naturally gravitate to. So they're not things that, impress me or I don't know they don't hold my attention yeah. it's, it's I don't think sweet. they there's still a lot of pineapple in yours I don't like think they sweet. smell cheap no. or, or no, no, horrible no, or they're yeah. awful or even synthetic yeah. I can't even yeah. say they smell synthetically horrible no. they're just not things that would yeah. naturally interest me yeah. no. office might actually Let's see how the day goes with this. Yeah. They're very mass appealing. So you've got office on and I've got date. No, you got also office on. Oh, do I? Okay. Yeah. I'll get these then. That's also office. Date is another one. Very good. But this brings back memories. Anteus? Oh. <laughs> it's still pulling things out. Oh, that's one of the surge lows, isn't it? Yeah. Come here. You like? This is called low de de pay. Well, this is the one that's like hay, is it not? Very fresh. It's got hay. I, I, I think I smell like coumarin in the base. Yeah. Almost like a lavender. Let me check. What is it? I think it's got hay in it. <laughs> Not straw, hay. <laughs> I could be wrong. Very fresh. Balmy. It's it's a few notes in there. There's just three notes in there. Fragrance. So one is hay, whatever, and incense. Hay, whatever, and incense. Yeah. 
I don't get the hay. It's not very dry to me, but I can I can see the incense. Yeah. Very fresh and easy to wear. I think I bought that because I thought it was a blind buy. I think it's very nice though. It's not it's not bad. It was it just something different. Buy. Right. For me. All right. So when I go and do the bailing so this is for farming. in the fall, it's for farming. I'll dress up like a farmer and go bail some hay. There you go. Oh, well, maybe you can put that on and put date on and, and then say, you okay, can go for Somebody needs to drive the tractor. A date in the cornfield. <laughs> oh, really? All right, guys. Thanks for coming on. Well, thank and, you. No and we'll see you again soon. Thank you for sharing your presence. Oh, anytime. You're welcome. If there's ever anything. Royal visits. Yes. Give our regards to Jeremy, okay? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, thanks.